Hey everybody! Thank you guys so much for joining me on my MK hack today. I actually really love this hack in particular because every age, um, every skin tone, everybody can benefit from this. Every skin type and even men can benefit from this little product hack. But first I'm going to tell you about the um, what the product is actually designed to do. And so today we are talking about the Mary Kay Translucent Powder. It looks very white. But when it goes on, it is translucent, which means you see through it. And so what this product is designed to do, let's see here, there you go. What this product is designed to do is to create a nice sheer uh, layer that will set your makeup if you put it on after applying all of your foundations and color and all that. So that's going to help set your makeup, which makes it look smoother. It kind of blends it together so you don't, it gives you a very airbrushed look. Um, so you're not necessarily going to see where your cheek color or your contouring or any of that starts and stops. Um, it also is going to absorb oil and it does not settle in any fine lines or wrinkles. And so this is not going to start to look cakey. It's not going to um, make your skin look dull. It actually makes your skin look very luminous and healthy and dewy, but still reducing that shine. Uh, this is great not only because you don't have to worry about matching your foundation shade, to it like like a regular pressed or um, loose powder but also as your skin tone changes from season I get much darker in the summer even staying out of the Sun I tan very easily and so I go through three or four shades a year it just varies and so I like knowing that I can keep this in my purse I can touch up I have very oily skin as you can see I intentionally did not blot or anything so you can see kind of the shine so you'll be able to see the difference with the product so when you apply it, uh, the, the general way is to use a powder brush, all right, so you can use your powder brush. You can also use, if you have a powder foundation brush, like if you use a mineral powder, then you can apply it that way. And then I do it on my forehead because I do have a shiny forehead, and then here, and you just apply this way. So you can probably already see how it's just giving my skin a nice soft finish. And I don't have any powder on, I just have my foundation on from earlier today. And when you first put it on, especially the more tan you are, the more you may notice that it looks a little white. It may even look a little matte, but trust me that once it sets, that goes away. Okay. So that's how it's designed to be used. So now let me tell you what I really, really love to use this product for as well. It makes a fantastic dry shampoo. And so my hair is very fine, but I do have a lot of it. But again, I also have very oily skin. So I use dry shampoo pretty much almost every day. <laughs> Even I'll wash my hair and then I'll put dry shampoo in it just to give it a little bit of body, just to absorb oil throughout the day. And, um, and so you'll see that with this... Um, it, it has the little holes in it. So that is so that you can put the lid on it and just tap it a couple of times and control how much you get out. And then if you feel like you're getting way too much, or wait, well, and you have to open it first. So let me see if I can show you this because I've had some people not quite see this. All right, so see how it has these little tabs right here? So that is to open and close it, okay? So you just, I just closed mine. Um, so you can actually just tap some at the roots, but I like to use a powder brush. So what I did is I got a powder brush I had from a long time ago, the Mary Kay Signature Powder Brush. Um, it had barely been used, and you can also just put a hair tie on yours because you don't want to use the same brush that you're doing on your hair on your face. You definitely want to keep these brushes separate. You might even want to keep a separate powder itself and, you know, like right... Um, write something or do some nail polish on the top of it or something like that to keep it totally separate. Okay, and then you just dust it. Now, even if you have dark hair, believe it or not, you can use this. It's going to have a bit of a white gray look to it at first, but once it sets, it, that's gonna go away. Remember, it becomes translucent. So you just kind of, I just, depending on how oily I am, um, and where I need the most control. And what I typically do is so that I don't have to worry too much is I'll take a layer like that and I'll just blend it in that way. And the darker your hair, the more you just may wanna give yourself for, um, time to brush through it and let it set for a second before you plan on walking out the door. Okay, so here you go. You can kinda see 
It's very easy and you just get to control how much you want to do and it's going to give your hair a little bit of a, a lift to it as well. And then I definitely have to use it, um, <laughs> my hair's all messy, I definitely have to use it on my bangs because the bang, my bangs are like, you know, they're on my forehead where I get super oily and they're fine and so, and I, it's just kind of my pet peeve, I hate it when they look really stringy and so I go like that and then I'm just going to flip my hair over. And, and kind of brush through it, kind of work it in so that you're not seeing the white. And it's going to just absorb the oil throughout the day. So there you go. I hope you enjoy it. I would love to see before and after pictures. If anybody else wants to post before and after pictures after using it, if you don't already have your translucent powder, just be sure to contact your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant today and let her know you want to give it a try. Thanks so much. Make it a beautiful day.